love summer and today it's such a wonderful summer's day it's really warm it's really sunny and I can't really help myself for saying to to beep with a laundry or housework I'd rather sit outside reading my book and that's what I have been doing a lot today I have been sitting outside in the sun um, well shadow first because the sun wasn't on my balcony at first but then it was sunny and I just finished a book that I've read this book is called Never Dry Tears Without Glows and it's written by the author Jonas Gadell he's a Swedish comedian and author and the original title is Torka aldrig tårar utan handskar which this is the first book in a trilogy and it's called uh, Kärleken or The Love I do not know if this book has been translated in into English it has been translated into Norwegian but I have read it in Swedish because I can and I prefer reading books in the original language uh, as far as possible if it's written in Swedish, Danish, Norwegian or English I'd, I'd rather read it in in the original written language rather than in translation even though this book came to me as a book crossing book uh, through a book ring. I had been wanting to read it ever since I first heard of it. It is a book of many layers. It is not only the story about two guys called Benjamin and Rasmus. Benjamin is a um, Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, he's from a very devoted family, very Christian fan family. And you have um, Rasmus, which is from a really, really small place in Sweden. Uh, pretty much um, the kind of place that you just drive through. Needless to say, both Rasmus and Benjamin are gay. Um, Rasmus is very different and he grows up, as I said, in a small place and are being bullied just because he's different. I think people probably pick up on him being gay and that's some of the reason he's um, being bullied but um, I think that just because he's different and um, doesn't really care about what other other people think uh, that's kind of the reason for him him being bullied. When Benjamin understand that he's gay he is filled with shame. Um, he doesn't really know what to do about it, um, but he can't really help himself, of course. That's who he is. But he tries to be a good Christian and to be a good witness. But this is not just about Rasmus and Benjamin. This is about AIDS. The story is set in, at the beginning of the 80s when this illness, AIDS, was brand new. It was kind of the first time uh, we saw, any, uh, saw the signs. Uh, in the beginning they actually thought that it was a sort of cancer and on the news they said that it was like a gay illness. Um, and lots of things. Yeah, it was brand new and we didn't really know a whole lot about it. Another thing about this book is that we get insight uh, in gay history. Uh, not only Swedish but also American. Um, it, we, we get to know about the whole Stonewall incident and also how um, how the liberation is like in Sweden. Um, one would maybe think that it started in, in Stockholm, which is the capital of Sweden, but we learned that this is not actually the fact. So this is the first book in a trilogy. I haven't read the two others. I am waiting for the second book to come for me. I've, I've ordered it as a, an interlibrary loan 
So I'm waiting for the second book. Um, I want to read it in Swedish as well. And because it's a, uh, the first book of a trilogy, we are only kind of just starting to see what this is all about, what the story is about. And I am really looking forward to read the second book. I think it's beautifully written. I think it's insightful. Um, I have seen people not being very fond of how Gadel has described the gay society. But I think even though it can seem a bit harsh, I think that was actually how it was like during the early 80s and mm, mainly for the men though but it was mostly the way it was then I think and I yeah it can be a bit harsh but I also think it's very interesting and it shows nuances that it's not just being uh, about sex but also about these beautiful feelings you feel and about being lonely, feeling different, things like that. Um, and it was a really good read. Uh, I hope it will be translated into English. If it hasn't been, I should look it up. I will put in the doubly do if it's translated into English. Um, if not, I hope it will be, as I said. And I think that's all I want to see about this book. I'm really looking forward to read the rest of the trilogy. <laughs>